Scarlet and Violet are looking to be the biggest Pokemon games yet, but will this finally be the game where we get voice acting? It's a topic that's been discussed endlessly ever since the franchise made the jump to the Nintendo Switch. Because the games of the past were on handheld consoles and primarily sprite-based, things were perfectly fine. It never really needed it, because everything else told the story well enough. But now Pokemon is a 3D game on a home console with a holiday release. Sword and Shield are the games that made it painfully obvious that there should either be voice acting or some sort of audio stimulus. Either that, or just cut back on the cutscenes. Because if there were to be any audio dialogue in these games, then it would just be used during these larger cutscenes. Let me elaborate on these two options. So Pokemon has had larger animated cutscenes like this since X and Y, the first 3D games. And for the most part, it was fine if the dialogue was only text because they were so expressive and were accompanied by some amazing music. But Sword and Shield sticks out as a bad example because the game starts off with Chairman Rose's introduction, which isn't as expressive and has some boring music compared to the rest of the game. Other cutscenes later in the game work much better, like when Sonia uncovers the history of the Galar region, or when the player character and Peony help Calyrex reunite with its steed. These are some of my favorites, because this is where the visual style of Sword and Shield really works well, and has some very nice animation that speaks for itself. So Pokemon Scarlet and Violet either needs to add voice acting during these scenes if they want to continue using them to include a fair amount of dialogue as exposition, or they need to be smarter with how these cutscenes are structured, basically making them silent and having all of the animation and facial expressions tell the story. Though from the recent trailer, I think there was a fair amount of worry because as part of Nimona's introduction, we get this clip that's pretty clearly the cutscene that introduces her, as well as a starter Pokemon. And because this is a trailer focused mostly on gameplay, there's no audible dialogue dialogue, so it's unclear whether there will or will not be any voice acting. But the fact that there is visual text at the bottom of the screen doesn't deconfirm anything, because if at all, I think Scarlet and Violet would go with a similar execution to new Pokemon Snap which is mostly silent during the dialogue-heavy portions, but has pre-rendered cutscenes with voice acting for important moments and character introductions. And yes, they are voice acted, but there is text at the bottom of the screen so that you can still read what's going on, should you need to. Funny enough, the protagonist is still silent throughout the game, so it maintains the same feeling as any Pokemon game would. I do think that even though New Pokemon Snap was a spin-off game developed by Bandai Namco, it kind of serves as a taste for the future of Pokemon, as far as visual style and other presentation goes. I think with how detailed the Pokemon are in New Pokemon Snap as well as Scarlet and Violet, and the Pokemon character designs being translated into 3D this specific way shows this the most. In terms of style, these two games have a lot more similarities as opposed to, say, Pokemon Snap and Sword and Shield. And also, just pointing this out, but none of the trailers for New Pokemon Snap leading up to their release said anything about voice acting. So at the moment, with only two trailers for Scarlet and Violet and five months until release, there's nothing concrete. Though I really do think we should have gotten a Nintendo Treehouse because that would have given us some important details. I do think that if there's ever a time for Pokemon to take this plunge, it's now, because so many other spin-off games currently are ahead of the main series in this aspect. Again, the brief clip from the trailer doesn't tell us anything, so you can either look at it as a sign there's still hope, or as a hint that not much will change. And again, I think if we do get any voice acting, it would only be in the cutscenes, which I think is a pretty obvious choice. But that would still add a lot to the experience. I know there was a lot of discussion whether Legends Arceus would include this, but at the end of the day, it was still a Generation 8 game, being closer to Sword and Shield. Then again, the trainer grunts when you get hurt, so I guess that counts. Whatever the final game ends up being like, I am so looking forward to Scarlet and Violet. There's just so much to talk about. Okay, I think that was one of the weaker puns I've ended a video on. Thank you to all my channel members who make videos like this possible, especially Justin R, Mr. Pig Puncher, and Quago. If you want to support and have your name shouted out here, you can become a channel member as well, and get access to some cool emotes for comments and live streams that I'm very proud of. You can also follow me on Twitter for more memes. But anyway, this has been Gatorx, and I'll catch you later. But you see, this camera is my life. Get yourself a new life.